<clears throat> so this is a call now to uh, Cornwall Council, who are still dishing out uh, orders implying that people have still got some kind of liability to this bankrupted state that has been secured and is in the process of being dissolved uh, by Universal or Community Trust. Now, I'm just going to give these people a call. Um, they haven't received an assignment of consent yet. So actually, what I'm going to do is, um, because this is why we need a national insurance account number, people, because it's got uh, that's the mother of all accounts. So uh, this one we're going to do individually. And obviously, as you know, they can just change the case file reference number or put an A in front of it. And it means something completely different, which is why uh, if we have the, uh, the national insurance account number, it doesn't matter what they do with their sub account numbers. Um, it's is all linked to that mother really of all accounts literally so i'm just putting this these two reference numbers in here that we've got so far uh, the reason why i'm actually doing this is uh, because this like so many people they wait until the last minute um but the exchange these people are offering uh in exchange for my time to do this today uh, is so beneficial for the community uh, down there in Cornwall that um, I'm prepared to do this now. So I'm just actually editing the document here. Um, anybody who wants to, who has promised to uh, teach somebody else this, as part of their five hours, we should have millions of accounts for everybody who said such a thing. Uh, you simply open your own document up and edit it if you need to. Uh, obviously, the best thing to do is to go onto the website and create a whole new account uh, for the individual who you're going to really extend your kind's credit account to. Um, and then you can simply just open up your own document uh, that you've been sent and you can give them an assignment of consent um, straight away. So I'm just saving that document now. We're just going to then go to the trust site um, and we're going to send this to the address, which is Cornwall-admin. Um, which obviously Cornwall Council is a company that is already secured Cornwall Council. Justice.gov.uk. Nice if I had some left there. Uh, assignment of consent. Administering the brand. I will be attending court tomorrow in reference to this assignment. An <coughs> assignment of consent from Universal Law Community Trust uh, granting authority to act to a Agencies thereof will be required to be presented should an assignment not be evidenced. Mr. Brown. The warrant of universal law will arrest all parties for false claim. Mm 
Now we're just going to attach both the assignment and just, going to just check that date on there. Everything that we do, obviously, uh, I've talked about this before, has to be exact. We don't backdate these um, at all. And so, yes, we need to change the date on that for the date that the assignment was done <clears throat> and save. And you can't pass that. I just need this before I start recording it. That's good to know just what the services that you get if you can be bothered to stick to it until you've made contact with us. Um, I just think that they're just going to send over an email and sit back and wait for something to happen. These people haven't. Um, and this is why. They're getting the service that is waiting for everybody who shows a bit of initiative. This is the claim as being contested. And also, we're going to just download a copy of the so called claim. And it's very telling, obviously, that the court, so-called court, are sending a document and telling you to contact council to arrange a date in their court. We've already had this, obviously, confirmed that it's the council or the stakeholders in the court, um, which obviously makes the court fraudulent themselves, because they can be. They're obviously not, they're, they're biased. Um, <clears throat> working on behalf of their stakeholders even though those stakeholders are actually you, uh, you as in the plural you, um, just looking for this count number now that they've put in now. So. And that's it. So now what we're going to do uh, is just going to forward that and I'm going to call them to make sure that they've received it. So let's hear what they've got to say. 
and God. To their false claim, as we know. <coughs> And it looks like what a yet another telephone number that you can't dial. Uh, let's see if that works. Welcome. You're through to call the council. We may record your call to help us improve our service. We're going to give you some options and you can pick the one you want at any time. There are four here. To make a payment, press one. For council tax, it's two. For business rate inquiries, including big payments, that's three. If you have an existing claim or wish to make a new claim for housing benefits or council tax support, it's four. To hear these options again, please hold. Cornwall Council processes your data in accordance with the General Data Protection Regulations. Which is true. To hear how the Council processes your data, please press They sell it to their mates. If you are calling us using a mobile phone, we will send a short text in the next few days. The message will contain a link to our customer experience <coughs> survey. We're not your customers. We don't like what you're selling. Your position in the queue is two. 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 Your position in the queue is one.
Your position in the queue is one. Your position in the queue is one. Um, I've just sent you over an email regarding this account reference. It's uh, on this summons. The number is 31678948. Thank you. Your name is? Minister Emma Sorry, your okay. name? My name's Minister Emma Venn. And the name, the legal fiction on the account is a different name. Would you like me to give you that? Uh, yes, please. Great to have your help. This account has been assigned to Universal Law Community Trust. I'm the party standing surety to the equitable rights that once credited that account. I've sent you an email today which outlined the assignment of consent um, in accordance, not in accordance or to Mercantile Law Amendment 5, but in alignment with, um, which means that the once creditor of that account has now assigned their consent away from Crown Corporation and agents thereof. They do not credit your company. Now, on this document here, there's a couple of things really. As your secured party creditor, I have not assigned the consent for Cornwall Council to act on behalf of any agency that I'm a secured party credited to, which includes HMCTS and Cornwall Council. So I would like a copy of the assignment of consent or the authority to act or even a certificate of participation that Cornwall Council has received from Universal Law Community Trust, firstly. I'd like it also noting that we will be attending the court tomorrow and I have got a warrant issued for anybody who is laying false claim. This is all uh, outlined in the email I've sent over to you. Can you check to make sure that you've got it? Uh, I won't come back to that in box, I'm afraid. Which uh, email did you send it to? How do you know you haven't got access to it if you don't know which one it is that I've sent it to? My inbox. I don't have access to the main revenues inbox. Okay, so would you like to? Which one you send it to? Well, if you'd like to give me your email, I can send it directly to you, and then you can confirm that you've got it. I, so first of all, we don't have authority to discuss the account with you, um, and um, this is probably something for our back office to deal with, not us in the contact center. So if you'd like to hold, I'll pop you through to them. Thank you.
haven't got the authority to speak to anybody actually. Through to Caitlin, my colleague popped you through to discuss the council tax account. Well, I'm just wanting to make sure that you received my email more importantly than anything else. I've sent it across to the email that was on the document, which is cornwall admin at justice.gov.uk. But obviously, that can't be you, can it? Because you're Cornwall Council. Yeah, this is the council tax team, so that's not us. Well, um, your, sorry, your information is on the telephone number that I've called you on is uh, the number that's on the summons. Um, the only option for speaking to anybody about council tax was the one that I used and I've come through to you. So um, really what it says here, it says contact Cornwall Council um, and then gives you your telephone number. So, but then the email address where these documents come from is Cornwall hyphen admin. Um, it says at the bottom that if you are seeking to contest the liability, you must follow the procedure described above, which is to contact Cornwall Council. So I'm contacting you guys to let you know that your secured party creditor will be attending the court tomorrow. And if there is no certificate of participation or authority to act granted from universal law onto Cornwall Council or HMCTS, then I will be obliged to execute a writ and a warrant of arrest for all parties who are laying false claim. So in order for me to be able to properly serve you with this document, I'd like an email address directly to you there as at Cornwall Council. Okay, so I'm a bit confused what this is in regards to. We don't obviously have this account. 
um, to the account reference you gave my colleague, or if you don't have your name on this account, we can't actually discuss this account. That, that's so what, okay, let me just stop you there. That, that's what's being sent across to you is an assignment of consent and authority to act. That Then obviously the email address that they've put on the document for us to send that to isn't yours. So we then have to rely on Cornwall uh, the court uh, email address to send that across to you. So I'm cutting straight to the chase and I'm sending you the assignment of consent. You're going to receive that and then I'm going to call you back and then I'm going to go to the court tomorrow and then I will be executing a warrant. So if you'd like to give me an email address, I can send this to now that will enter into an inbox that you can confirm that you have received that and then we can go from there. I'll call you back then. I'm going to put you on hold when I speak to one of our court officers. All right, the line will go quiet, but I'm still here. All right. Thank you. I'm going to send one over to Kate Kennelly anyway. Um, but obviously, we need to make sure that the admin team have got this as well, um, just so that all the okay. that we're, we've got you on notice. Yeah, no worries. There was no. I'll just put, um, speak to my um, the court officer for a second. I'll put you on hold. Thank you for your help.
It would appear nobody wants to speak to me. Okay, so instead of us sitting here like she's fourpence, we have served now K Kennery at Cornwall.gov.uk and the court in this matter. 